This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Two tickets for the 330 Emoji Movie is something I will never say. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. As we release this episode, the first big summer movie has dropped, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I think we can assume it was a big hit. Yes, I think that would be pretty safe to say. (laughs) And that means the tumult of movie releases has begun. Yay, summer movies! (laughs) Starting with on May 5th, also, Mm -hmm. probably out by the time we're talking about this, The Lovers, Deborah Winger comes out of retirement... I haven't seen her for a while. Maybe she's on some cable show. I don't know. No. An unhappy married couple have an affair with each other. Okay. (laughs) Okay? Is that a comedy or... No, 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 no. It's a drama. Oh. It would be a good comedy. Yeah. (laughs) May 12th, Snatched. Mother and daughter in a zany kidnap adventure. And that's Mm. Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn. So you know it will be scatological. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, another return to the round table that no one asked for. Mm -hmm. Jude Law is the bad guy. Charlie Hunnam is the hero who's best known for television, Queer as Folk, and Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, there's another King Arthur type movie coming. Maybe I'm... Or they could be the same movie. Yeah, I don't (laughs) know. That'll come and go and it'll be on... It'll be on uh, the airplanes for you know it. Maybe it was a TV show. There's like something where there's a girl that's King Arthur. I can't remember what it is. Maybe it's a comic book. It might be a comic book. Yeah. May 19th, Alien Covenant, a sequel to the prequel. <laughs> Ridley Scott is back in the director's chair, and this stars Michael Fassbender. Oh. So if you want to see a lot of goop and slime and... <laughs> but probably not things coming out of people's stomachs. Mm, who knows, who maybe. Who knows, yeah. Everything, Everything. The Hunger Games' Rue, Amanda Stenberg, stars as a teenager who's physically isolated due to an immune system issue. So mm-hmm. basically, girl in the plastic <laughs> bubble. And this is based on a young uh, adult novel. Which everything is these days, yes. so right. what the heck, right? Yeah. Ooh, May 25th, big day! Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. Baywatch! The Rock, Zac Efron, and Priyanka Chopra run slowly across the beach. <laughs> uh, and apparently this is going for comedy action. Yeah, I would assume something like that. I was thinking along the lines of, you know, um, the Chips movie redo or something like that. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's not something I'd be at all interested in. But. And, and yes, the Hoff is in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> May 26th, so the next day, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. This is the fifth film in the franchise. It's been 14 years since the first one. Yeah, we saw the first one. Yes, we did, and then we never went back. No. I'm sure it will do fine without us. <laughs> yes. So far, summer's not shaping up to be very uh, nope. very attractive to me, at yeah. least. Hmm. And then we have War Machine. This is not the Marvel character. This is a dark comedy about Afghanistan with Brad Pitt. I guess we're just not the focus of the movie makers of America. Yeah. Oh, wait. Here. Here June 2nd, Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot wields the golden lasso. It's only taken DC 75 years to get around to making her into a movie. (laughs) I have high hopes. Just don't blow it, Warner Brothers. Please don't blow it. But as as we've discussed, they're already kind of falling behind the ball on promotion for it. Now, see, I've seen since that article, there was an article that said, oh, there's hardly any promotion for the movie, and DC's, Warner Brothers really screwing up. And then I've seen other ones that said, well, at this point, in terms of, like, Suicide Suicide Squad, they've actually spent more on Wonder Woman than Suicide Squad. Then how come we're not seeing it? Where is is the visible promotion? Because it must all be invisible promotion. Yeah. Did you pay a ton of money to Dr. Pepper for those cans? And are they counting the, like, (laughs) stuff that they're doing for Justice League that's Wonder Woman related? Uh, Or anything that's even, like, merchandising that's related to the comic book that has nothing to do with the movie. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. June 9th, The Mummy. 
Universal begins their run toward a classic monster franchise, so we're actually going to see all the monsters recreated. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tom Cruise plays the hero, Sophia Butella plays the monster, who I assume will spend most of her time in a trench, because <laughs> <laughs> Tom's not a tall man, uh, and Russell Crowe <laughs> will play Dr. Jekyll in a small role. Hmm. So I, presumably there'll be a Dr. A Jekyll film. movie coming out of yeah. this. Yeah, uh-huh. So they're going to have a whole monster universe, so yep. to speak. Yep, a shared monster universe. Frankenstein yes. and Dracula and Wolfman, the mummy, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> June 16th, Cars 3. Really, Pixar? Really? Yes, really. They make a ton of money off Cars. Oh, but no one liked the last one other than like four-year-olds. And apparently that four-year-old market is enough to make you a ton of money. Well, it's and it's not, I don't think the movie, but no. the merchandising yeah, it's all makes the money. Yeah. And yeah, they do buy toys. Yes. And then also, the little counter-programming, Rough Night with Scarlett Johansson and Kate McKinnon in a raunchy comedy. So eh. it's kind of... Bride's maids ish kind of thing. Yeah. June 23rd, Transformers The Last Night. Two plus hours of bad CGI explosions from Michael Bay. Woo boy. <laughs> the Beguiled. Ellie Fanning, Colin Farrell, and Kirsten Dunst in a gothic thriller. So if you don't want to unplug, unplug your brain that weekend, you can go see this. Yes, yeah. June 30th, Despicable 3. So Steve Carell gets another paycheck. So, you know, you didn't, like, deride the makers of Despicable Me 3 like you did Cars. Well, it's, but it is another paycheck. It's like, why, why, yes, you know, why, are, we doing why are we doing more and more sequels? Because Minions are popular. Yep, that's basically it. The House. Amy Poehler and Will Ferrell own, open a casino in the suburbs and wackiness ensues. Now, again, this is one that I think could be funny, right. but it won't be. Right. <laughs> the talent's there, but not so much. Because it'll be all like, you know... Fart jokes. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. July 7th. Spider-Man Homecoming. Marvel Studios' talent steps in to help this floundering franchise. I'm actually looking forward yeah. to this. Mm -hmm. Still not happy about Hot Aunt May. Yes, but <laughs> but consider Hot Aunt May as compared to like Hot Mrs. Grundy in the new Archie. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you have a good point. July fourteenth, War for the Planet of the Apes. Just let me know when they get to the people worshiping the Almighty Bomb. Yeah. That's what I want to see. <laughs> see a recreation of that. Oh. <laughs> We've seen so many previews for that Planet oh, of the Apes yes. movie. Oh, yes. They're, they're flogging it. Yeah. July 21st, Dunkirk. Christopher Nolan's epic tale of the World War II tipping point. And, of course, it will be huge in scope. Mm -hmm. You know, supposedly there's some scenes where he hired, like, thousands of extras. I mean, it's not, it's not CGI. It's, like, actually guys and, you know, running up the beach yeah. and all this. Girl Trip. This is essentially... Tyler Perry's The Hangover. Oh, okay. <laughs> Queen Latifah, Jada Pinkett Smith. Mm -hmm. It's that, that type of humor. Valerian and the City of a Hundred Planets. Mm. There's a mouthful of a title. Luc Besson directs, so you know it will be weird. Luc Besson, of course, did The Fifth Element. Yeah. A massive base has been built onto the International Space Station over 800 years. Mm. So it's now this massive place yep. <laughs> with like different environments and all this for the different alien races mm -hmm. and okay now i assume this is based on a book i, I don't know i don't know july 28th atomic blonde Shalise throne in a violent secret agent flick set at the fall of the berlin wall so we'll see how the reviews go on that okay an inconvenient sequel truth to power Hey, Al Gore, maybe the money spent on this could have been spent to elect people who could do something about it? Yeah. Just a thought. Yeah. And the Emoji Movie. It's an animated movie from the people who brought you Fruit Ninja the movie, or whatever it was. Yeah. Here, here's my money. Don't make me go see it. Yes, please. No. August 4th. The Dark Tower, Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey in an adaptation of Stephen King's book series. And again, I think that would have been much better as a miniseries on, you know, TV. Yeah, that seemed like a better fit. Yeah. And then the final movies for the summer, 
August 18th, The Hitman's Bodyguard. Ryan Reynolds is the title character. Samuel Jackson is the guy he's guarding. Gary Oldman is a dictator who wants to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, Logan Lucky. Channing Tatum and Adam Driver in a NASCAR heist from Steven Soderbergh. Uh, which apparently must be really great because you always put the best movies on at the end of August. Hey, <laughs> we still haven't hit Labor Day weekend when that comes out. so I suppose. <laughs> could be a worse time. Right. Although I can count on one hand the number of movies I really want to see. I might see more just because it's nice to go to the movies during mm -hmm. the summer. Yeah. But I don't know. If you're not at the movies, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Let's all go to the line. Let's all go to the line.